Oh, what is going on YouTube? This is Rob A, and today we're taking a look at Fans Toys Iron D-Bots FTO4, Iron D-Bots number one, Scoria, or as he is more commonly known, Dinobot Slag. Uh, now, this is a figure that I've been waiting for quite some time for, and I am super excited to finally have in hand. And uh, man, this box is enormous, and I don't know if you can tell by my hands here or this uh, minifigure, <laughs> this Lego minifig that I'm holding up here. This is a very large box, and it is heavy too. It is like stupid heavy. Um, so a lot of die cast going on here, more than likely. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, the box is very nicely done. I love the artwork here. It's very kind of simplified, very 80s uh, looking artwork. Um, my box did get a little banged up in transit, it seems. Some smooshes, so hopefully that won't affect the figure inside. Uh, but on the back here, you can see it's got pictures of our friend Scoria here in dinosaur mode and uh, in robot mode as well. So his uh, various accessories, you can see he's got a little laser gun. Uh, a couple of different heads that you get in here. You get two heads. Uh, they're both red. I will most likely paint one black. And I may even do that before the review, so don't don't get fooled by that. Um, and of course, this very nice sword as well. Um, so uh, we've got some kinda, we've got some stuff going on up here that I'll read off to you very quickly. Uh, Iron D bots, as the younger generation Iron D bots were not in the Cybertron with older generation of soldiers fighting enemies, they are more selfish, disaffected, advocating violence. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love reading this stuff. Uh, and then Scoria has a personal bio as well. He has a perverse personality, a love in disguise form of triceratops using high temperature flame ejected from the mouth to make his enemies to melt. The horn on the head can easily destroy a building. High energy light gun and flame lightsaber are his favorite weapon. He don't like anyone besides his teammates, even spray flame to the enemy and companion at the same time when excited. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that is the box, and you can of course see Fans Toys 2014 and fanstoys.com and weibo.com slash fantoys. Yeah, there you go. So this is uh, quite a step up box-wise from uh, their previous release, which was Quake Wave, uh, which many of you may be familiar with, some of you may not. Uh, very, uh, very nice independent party Shockwave. Um, but the box is definitely nicer than that. Not quite as nice as your uh, Mastermind Creations or, or, or boxes like that, but still very nice uh, with the magnetic closure. Here you can see there's a nice uh, image of Scoria in Triceratops mode here. And then here we have the boy himself. Here he is. Um, so I'm super excited to get this guy open. Um, so I'm going to go do that. <laughs> and uh, get a few things prepared and then I will meet you guys right back here in just one second okay guys so I've got Scoria open and out of the package and just to go over really quickly um, you do get some instructions and uh, yeah fans choice you still have a little left to do in terms of the uh, packaging department because this thing was just like crumpled <laughs> inside the, the the box just crumpled up in there um, you can see it's just got the instruction booklet blah 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 yada yada there's no comic book <laughs> which is fine um, and it just shows you how to insert the batteries into the various weapons and change the faces uh, so there is that you also get the standard at this point uh, collector card there you go it's shiny, plasticky kind of material, um, very thick and sturdy, and uh, yeah, there you go. Same perverse personality sort of thing on there, and all the uh, stats on the back. So exciting! Now on to the figure itself, and here's the thing. I did not appreciate, and it's very difficult when just seeing pictures or even a video review. Uh, to really appreciate the size of this thing. Uh, so here is Scoria. All right. Yep, there he is with his loose, loosey-goosey, loose lip sync ship, Scoria. So here he is. And uh, I'm going to do a quick, couple quick size comparisons here um, just to give you an idea of scale. So here he is with a standard... Uh, 
Viacon, Deluxe Viacon that you've seen many a time. There he is. Just like that. Okay. Got that out of the way. Um, here he is with his Generation 1 counterpart. And I do apologize in advance. This thing is very beat up. <laughs> uh, I've had it since I was a youngin. So it's 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 had a it's had a long uh, fruitful life but there there he is with his generation one uh, counterpart okay okay so we'll just move that guy out of the way um, for those of you that collect the uh, toy world throttle bots there he is with that guy okay and uh, I'll just show you real quick where so his head is like the size of this guy's entire body. Just, just want to point that out uh, really quickly. Um, for any of you that have just gotten some of the Warbitron figures. So you can kind of see what's going on here. And again, he looks much smaller on camera <laughs> than he actually is. And it's a shame because this thing is enormous like I can't even get past how large this is in hand um, but uh, one one final one final comparison we'll do him and uh, we've got Fortis here from uh, Mastermind Creations by no means a small figure in its own right um, but just absolutely absolutely dwarfed uh, by Scoria here now I did add uh, a couple of REPA labels to my Scoria, so this uh, Autobot symbol will not be on yours uh, when you receive it. So bear that in mind. Yeah. So here he is, Scoria, in all of his Ceratopsian glory. Um, and he's got some he's got some articulation going on in this mode. Very, very cool. Um, and I'll go over that really quickly. First of all, let's do the tail. Uh, the tail has limited articulation, but it's it's very nice. So you can waggle the tail back and forth, up and down, and then the tip of the tail can go back and forth as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you can get a general idea of the shape, you know, the potato, yada yada. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really just this part right here, like just this area <laughs> that gives it the whole potato vibe. If this were to just taper I think a little bit up more and then kind of come back down into the tail there would be none of that potato business um, but just the way his legs are formed just the way he transforms this is kind of like a necessity and it's really fine he's really not potatoey uh, in hand I mean he's just he's just huge um, there he is from the top uh, and blingy so shiny this guy I'll give you a close-up of the paint detailing paint you go very nice very nice detailing all throughout um, and of course the head the ginormous flipping head this thing is so huge uh, so he has got the articulations going on here he's got the woo 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 like that you go up and go down and go side to side obviously the thrill the frill is uh, limiting that but it really is not any kind of a problem um, He's got a weird pattern up here. It almost looks like a Decepticon a little bit. That's <laughs> neither here nor there. He's, his mouth opens. Um, and unfortunately, this is a problem with a, a few of these things. His mouth is a bit loosey-goosey. Um, easily fixed. There's actually um, there's a screw right there. I may just try tightening that up a little bit and see if that helps. But it's really not so much that um, as this inner part where there's a... It looks like maybe a pin... Yeah, there's a there's a pin up there, so I may be able to uh, just put some put some polish or something on that pin and kind of get it get it going. But once you get it to like uh like I don't know, let's say here, it's fine. So here you go. He can have all that action go on, but uh, his mouth does open, and he does have a flamethrower inside there very very nice just close that right up not quite that much <laughs> but anyway uh, he does have the leg movement here again and uh, 
a joint here, and his little dino toes can also go for a frolic. <laughs> uh, his back legs as well. Uh, no, no movement in the toes here. It doesn't look like, uh, but you do get this going on, which is very, very cool because this whole part splits in half to become uh, the robot leg. So it's it's really, really nice that that's kind of uh, added in there, the articulation, because they really didn't have to. Um, so yeah, that is the dinosaur mode, and I know everyone is saying, but Rob, Rob, show him with Grimlock. All right, all right, I'll show him with Grimlock. And here is probably the biggest bummer for me. Um, those of you who may know or may not know, I am a very, very avid fan of dinosaurs, and Grimlock in particular. And uh, here he is with Masterpiece 08 Grimlock. And I love Grimlock. I love this Masterpiece Grimlock. I think he's fantastic. But when you put these two together, Grimlock is just too small. Um, for starters, this guy's supposed to be a Tyrannosaurus. Here is his head. Here is his Tyrannosaurus head. And now here is Scoria Triceratops, and here is his head. It is gigantic. Like, Scoria could swallow Grimlock's whole face just like that. Just like that. So Grimlock, too small. Too small. Um, now, there, uh, Fans Choice is supposedly making a Grimlock figure to go with all of these guys. Um, I hope they do a good job, um, because I would really like to have that guy, and I hope he's just massive. I think that would be awesome. Uh, so yeah, here they are together. Bestest friends forever and evers. Um, and of course, the feet. It wouldn't be complete without the feet. So here is the canon thing that comes with Scoria. The first run of Scoria, I should say. Uh, it's got this little little bit here on the bottom, and it's got these two little can bits here on the top. And uh, you can just go ahead and kind of pop that in right on the back of Grimlock here. And now he's got cannons for some reason. Um, and we'll get to these more in a bit, but... Uh, that's pretty much the dinosaur mode for Scoria, guys. He is quite fantastic, quite beautiful. Um, this is an overall amazing toy. Not perfect, but pretty darn good. Um, so let me pause the video here and we will get right into his transformation and robot mode. So I will see you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, so to transform Scoria to robot mode, uh, here's what you wanna do. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and kind of pop the tail here. It's very easy, just boop, pops right up. And then what you want to do is just press on this little black button. It's got a little black button on the top of his tail. Just press on that as best you can. And then kind of scoot his tail into itself, just like that. Just collapse the tail in on itself. This little wiggle part will be left out, uh, but that is okay. And you just want to kind of leave this up like so. This just unlocks the legs here. And then the legs can be a bit difficult, so bear with me. Uh, you got to separate these guys. And this can be a fun, fun adventure. Because they are, whew, they are pegged together. <laughs> so there you go. You've got the legs. Whoop. There goes that. Uh, the only the, the, one of the biggest problems with this guy is that he is so huge, it can be a bit cumbersome to try and transform him. Uh, but you want to bring his legs out like so, like so. And then you want to take his dino legs here. I should, probably should have done this beforehand, but split them apart like so. Just bring them up, and there's little locking tabs uh, on the on the legs. That they'll just lock into like so. Do that on the other side as well. Do, do, do. Oh, I, sh I forgot to mention that it also does this. So if you have the back dino legs, they also 
swivel like that. I should have shown that before, but I honestly didn't notice it until just now. <laughs> pretty cool. I like not noticing extra articulation. That's pretty good. All right, so the, onto the legs. Here we go. We're going to pop this back half out, this forward bit out. And then this part right here is going to just drop right down onto the foot. That's going to be, you know, kind of like Grimlock has on his uh, little tootsies. Then you want to take the dino leg. Hopefully I'm not destroying the paint waggling this thing all over the table. Dino leg goes in and just roll that right on in here. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. I want to bring it up and put it in here and make sure that the toes are kind of angled with the inside of the leg and then cover that up and that'll kind of peg into place and then bring this in here and that'll close back up and there you have one leg for scoria and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side quick as I can here do There we go. Very nice. And then bring the hips up and pull the legs in just like Masterpiece Grimlock. Just like so. There we go. And you've got him started well on his way. Come back around here and now, whoop, don't fall back, Scoria. All right. Now this part that, that was the back of the dinosaur mode, you're going to push all the way up and then fold in on itself like so. And then what you want to do is bring the tail in like so. Fold this whole thing up and there's a cavity in there that'll fit the tail. And then the spikes on the back will fit into these little slots along Scoria's spine. And just get the wings out from the sides of the dinosaur and out of the way. Just lift them up like so. And this will all go in and just plug in like a so. So we got all kinds of stuff going on now. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now, dinosaur jaw. You want to grab and then push back inside the dinosaur head like so and just push it back like that so you can see it's on the inside here it's not sticking out at all that'll leave room for the head which will come out of this little flap and just lift that right up and just clip that into place and then flip up this silver bit and that'll just sit right up in there like so becoming kind of the uh, false jaw that uh, G1 slag had now the hands, hopefully I won't have as much trouble as I did the first time. <laughs> uh, you just want to push in and kind of roll them out. And you want to make sure that when you transform this guy, his hands are perfectly straight because, I don't know how well you can see this, but there are little tabs on the inside here and it, his wrist can catch on that. And it's not that terrible except uh, on mine, when I got it out of the box, he had a bit of flash on his hand that was preventing his wrist from swiveling so I could not get that out no matter how hard I try like I dug at it with tweezers and and uh, screwdrivers and stuff and I just couldn't get it out I ended up having to unscrew the entire arm assembly pulling the hand out and shaving off the uh, the excess flash so just be aware it probably shouldn't be an issue on yours but if it happened on on mine it can happen on anyone's and then pull out the other hand, like so. Close that up. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into this in just a moment. Um, and then last but not least, they want you to uh, kind of fold these bits up on the frill. I'm gonna be very careful here because it's very tight, very stiff, and I don't wanna harm it. Like so, just fold it over itself like that. You want to fold the bottom piece first and then just kind of fold it over the top. And then they have you close these up 
and then pull the frill back and down along the dinosaurs or the robots back and then you can if you want to and I will because I want to kind of bring the bring the triceratops horns back out just like so and then there you go you've got your guy <laughs> you've got scoria all right and he is very cool let me see if I can actually get them all in one shot there you go uh, yeah so very very nice and uh, give me just a second and we'll uh, we'll get into this guy a little bit all right so I'm trying to keep this review as reasonably timed as I can but it's just kind of impossible so I'm just gonna do do what I can for you and uh, so here we go he has all kinds of articulation and I'll get into that really quickly here uh, he's got a ball jointed head, swivels from side to side, goes up a little bit, goes down a little bit. It is hampered by the dinosaur head, but you know, that's kind of, that's what you're going to get. Uh, he's got swiveling, <laughs> swiveling uh, shoulders, like so, and looseness is a problem with these. Um, kind of over all of them as far as I've been able to uh, to deduce is that it's kind of kind of a common occurrence uh, he does have sort of floppy arms I do I mean he's got great ratchets going out here to the sides um, but it's just the back and forth there's almost no friction uh, there's a little bit but as you can see not quite enough. Um, he does have a waist swivel that is impeded just a little bit by the backpack, but you can kind of just pull that out uh, to get more movement out of that. But I think he's got very decent waist swivel even with that. He can still get you know a good good amount of poses. Um, he's got ratcheting hips. He's got side to side like so. Uh, he's got swivel thighs. He's got really nice deep knees, and his his uh, toes can go out a little bit, and got a little pivot there as well. His toes are die cast. Um, I think what else we got on here? This die cast metal. I know his dinosaur horns are, and his dinosaur feet are. I'm not sure what else. I'm sure you can figure it out. It's, it's the stuff that's cold. <laughs> But I've been handling this guy for a little bit, so I've kind of forgotten what what's cold and what's not, and it's kind of attuned to my body heat, as it were. Uh, but very, very nice. Uh, now, you do get extra heads with this guy. You get two of the outer, like, main part of the head, and both of those are red. Uh, I'm going to show you this one. I've painted it black. Uh, so you won't get... The, the, the back is still drying, but you can see how it was red at one point. Um... But yeah, so you do get two of those. You get a screaming face, which does look better in person than it does in pictures or on the package. Um, and you do get red normal face and red screaming face. So you get those guys. You can kind of change the, the faces in and out as, as you desire. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's a really solid figure, and the, 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 the shoulders do kind of buck me. Um, but it's not a deal breaker. Hopefully I'll be able to open these up, because it's just two screws here. I'll take a look and see what's going on there. Maybe put some floor polish and see how that how that settles it. Um, but a very, very nice, very solid-looking figure. Um, let's do some uh, quick size comparisons here. Uh, here he is with his Generation 1 counterpart. How adorbs <laughs> is that? Daddy, my feet are so big. Um, so there's that. Uh, we'll do Mastermind's Bovis. Stick him right up there. Yep. Come on, buddy. I'm messing around with him too much. There we go. Bovis, yeah. He's, this guy's a big dude. Big guy. 
Um, again, for whoever is collecting the Warbatron figures, here he is with Heavy Noisy. Mm -hmm. And of course with a Masterpiece car figure, in this case Red Alert. But you get the idea. So he is quite large and of course wouldn't be complete without his Dinobot friend, Grimlock. Yeah, here we go, Grimlock. Grimlock. Uh, Grimlock. Little teeny tiny baby itty bitty Grimlock. Poor guy. Uh, yeah, so uh, in order to combat this issue, uh, Fans Toys did include, once again, the uh, back cannon as we've seen before. And we can go ahead and just clip these all in and then unplug these two bits, and Grimlock gets himself some uh, sweet Gene Simmons kiss shoes. So he gets some sweet go-go disco boots, and that uh, that definitely gives him a little bit of extra height here. Um, they are close in height at the head. Uh, Scoria is still a little bit taller, um, definitely taller with the uh, dino head so uh yeah i mean it doesn't look terrible in person it looks a lot better than it does in pictures um but we really need a bigger beefier grimlock um because this guy is fantastic i love him but he's just been outclassed i always thought he was too small uh, to fit in the Masterpiece line, because this guy came out before there was really scale in the Masterpiece line, but when this guy came out, it was still only, uh, like, Masterpiece Prime and all those gigantic ones uh, that were out with the exception of uh, Starscream, and he was dwarfed by Optimus, and I thought that was pretty, pretty terrible. Um, so, yeah, he's definitely outclassed, and what's even worse is, here's Grimlock's sword, and here's Scoria's sword. Uh, I mean, they are close in size if you, you know, don't count the handle. Because, I mean, this is where they would, you know, fall at the hand anyhow. Um, but, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely needs an upgrade. You need a bigger sword and a bigger you, Grimlock. Yes, you do. Uh, so, accessories, like we were kind of sort of looking at in a roundabout way. He does come with the sword, and he does come with the very, very blingy gun. I am not a fan of this gun at all, <laughs> gotta be honest. Um, it does take batteries, you can put batteries right in the back here, I did not do that. And it blinks doot, 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 when you press this little button down here. Um, so there's that. I'm just not a big fan of how very chromey it is, um, but it's all right. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not my cup of tea. And besides, my Dinobots, they are brawlers. They don't use guns. They use fire if they're going to project any kind of thing. Um, but here we go. We just stick the weapon in his hand, and he can just hold like that. He can't hold it up, <laughs> but he can hold it. Uh, yeah, that is kind of a shame. And here is the sword. The sword is pretty darn awesome. Um, it's also got batteries in there. Um, and it's got a little button on the back. Whoops. And it's got butterfingers, or I do. And you can press that, and bam, lights up. And it lights up like a boss. This thing is crazy bright. Uh, as you can tell, because I have lights going on all over the place here, and you can still see this thing. It is blazing, and uh, it can go in his hand. And here's another small oversight that we will we will address shortly. So you can just peg this into his hand, and it is keyed to have the so that the screw holes are kind of facing out. Or, you know, in towards Scory's body, I guess. And he can mm, kind of hold this up. Uh, but as you can see, he has to hold this at an angle. 
And while it's okay, because I guess, you know, he's got the jabbing thing going on, uh, it's kind of annoying that this does get in the way. They really could have just either shortened this, or maybe just raised it a little bit so that you could just pop this thing back and then it would just fit right in there. Uh, but it, it unfortunately does not. Uh, so that is kind of a bummer. But, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, and by the way, I'm intentionally not showing him off with Quake Wave. So there, nyan and nyan and boo boo. <laughs> they look fine together. Take my word for it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's a really great figure. Um, well worth the money, in my opinion. But at the same time, it's not perfect, guys. Don't think it's going to be, um, because it's simply not. That's just not how, you know. It's not how these things go. Uh, it's a smallish company making, you know, as many figures as they can for us, but it's, it's not an easy thing. So anyway, um, basically the bottom line is it's a really cool figure. Um, it's got some issues. I would say if you are not really big on the Grimlock boots, maybe wait for... Um, I don't know. <laughs> Wait for the toy version. Uh, this is the cartoon version, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, this is the cartoon version, because uh, the toy version will have black black upper legs um, and the black head, as well as the red, uh, red horns. Um, so... I'm hoping that by the toy, the the yeah the toy version when that comes out, they'll have addressed the uh, shoulder issue. I don't know if there's going to be a second run of this version. Um, certainly not one with the Grimlock boots. So you can kind of go to the Fans Toys website and maybe inquire there. Uh, but yeah, um, the shoulders are not a deal breaker. But if if you're not like me, I mean I'm. I, I consider myself a little bit handy. I can kind of go in there and, and kind of mess with these things and sort of sort them out and fix them a little bit. If that's not you or you don't feel comfortable doing that, I understand you paid a lot of money for this and you don't, you know, you feel you shouldn't have to fix it. And that's fine. I mean, that's a valid reason. But at the same time, the reality is sometimes poop happens <laughs> and you got to decide, well, do I like this enough that I'm willing to, you know, to kind of go out there and fix it or, you know, uh, whatever. But yeah, that's, uh, my kind of roundabout way of saying, I really like this guy. Uh, he's ginormous. I'm really excited about their next, uh, offering. Hopefully they'll, they'll kind of get a little, get a little more hardcore with the, uh, with the quality control going out the door. Um, I know it's, it's not an easy thing. It's certainly not a guaranteed thing, but, uh, but yeah, this is a very strong, uh, very strong figure, and uh, if he could hold his arms up a little more, it'd be <laughs> all the all the stronger. But he'll give a thumbs up, and I'll give a thumbs up too. Scoria, pretty pretty darn cool. So, thank you guys for watching. That's gonna do it for this long, long review. <laughs> I do apologize for that, but. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I got more Transformers, more, nah, 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 you know, you know the drill. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.